Hi everyone. Hello Nevada Virtual Academy, the best school in the world because you're at home, right? On your computer, learning, getting better and still being uh, in your house. Okay, proficiency exam, high school. Let's remember how to uh, solve this type of problems or let's get better at this or so whatever problem we have related to the slope in the proficiency exam we will be able to uh, get the maximum score. Write the point slope form, point slope, okay, of an equation of the line that passes through each pair of points. And before you start solving this problem, you have to remember, point slope form looks like what? y minus y1 equals m, the slope, times x minus x1 and everything is here you know because we have we can choose let's say uh, this point here to be x1 and y1 right so when you see that x1 y1 you're talking about the coordinates of a point that is located on that line and if you want to choose the first pair to be x1 y1 you're also fine no problems whichever one you like okay however one thing is missing and the missing one is my slope okay so you definitely have to go and by using any method you learned you should find the slope okay and remember i said the one easy that you know one easy way for you to find the slope on two uh, pair of coordinates for two given points is to write your points one on top of the other you're doing, uh, uh, you know, a an x and y, um, you know, stack here. I mean, you basically have two columns. First one, this one is the x column. That's the y column. And all you have to do is to subtract bottom from the top to find the change in x, find the change in y. And then we know that my slope is rise over run, change in y over change in x. Okay? Change in x, 6 minus negative 8. Once again, 6 minus negative 8. Subtracting integers, you're adding the opposite. So basically, you change both signs and just, just add, right? 6 plus 8, 14. That will be your change in x, 14. So I can plug it in here, 14. Next one, 3 minus 5, negative 2. That's the change in y negative 2 okay which is 1 well negative 2 over 14 is negative you can simplify divide each one top and bottom by 2 that would be 1 I'm sorry 1 over 14 divided by 2 7 negative 1 7 okay now I did that I need the formula y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 in the parentheses where m is my slope. My slope is here. All right. So let's write that equation. Your equation in the point slope form for problem number seven is going to be y minus y1. What is y1? 5 which should equal m, my m is slope, negative 1, 7, okay, you can put it in the parentheses if you want, times x minus x1. What is x1? Well, x1 is negative 8, but because I have minus negative 8, that is nothing else but adding the opposite you're changing both signs will be plus 8 actually and this is it that's your point slope form for the line that passes through these two given points 6 3 and negative 8 and 5 that's all okay moving on to the next one same approach, 
Write your coordinates, one on top of the other. Negative 1, 9, 10, and 7. All right? One column, I got my axis. On the other column, I got my y. Find the difference in them. Minus 1, minus 10, negative 11. That's your change in x. 9 minus 7 is going to be 2. That's your change in y. Okay. Find your slope. M will be change in y, your rise, over change in x, your run, which equals 2 over negative 11. Or if you want, you can say negative 2 11. All right. That's your slope. Which point would you like to choose as x1, y1? Well, I will have this one, x1, y1. Why I like that one? Because everything is positive, okay? All the coordinates are positive. So I don't have to, you know, play and find out what's going to be minus, minus is a plus and stuff like that. Next step, write your equation in slope for slope uh, point slope form which is y minus y1 what is my y1 7 which should equal m my slope negative 2 11 multiplied by x minus x1 well x1 is 2 this is it that's all you have to do. And I know it looks kind of uh, sophisticated, right? But that's it. Math gets sophisticated sometimes. Complicated like, like you guys are. Each one of you is a sophisticated person. Complicated, hard to understand, mysterious, awesome. All right, let's go for it. I will see you guys next time. Thank you.